In this lesson, we're going to look at triangles specifically and look at the perimeter and area of triangles. So um, anytime we're talking about a triangle, we're talking about a three-sided figure, of course. So the perimeter is just simply going to be to add up the three sides, right? Because we know that uh, the perimeter is just the distance around an object. So we just simply add up these three sides we see in our triangle. The area of the triangle is a little more tricky, however. So what we have to do is know two things about the triangle. We need to know one of the sides of the triangle. Okay, and so in this case, this B indicates uh, what we call the base. And this base is just one of the side lengths. But then once we know one of those side lengths, we need to understand that we're going to make a line that goes straight from the corner of the triangle opposite of the side we know, straight down, making a 90 degree angle uh, with that side. And we need to know that length, and we call that length the height. And if we know those two things, we can find the area of a triangle. So um, the area is this base times this height cut in half. Okay, Base times height divided by two is another way you can think of it, but we'll just say one half base times height. And to kind of give you an idea of why it is that this uh, formula works, think about a rectangle for a moment. Okay, so here's a rectangle, and suppose I called, um, oops, I meant to call that H. Suppose I called this side length H and this side length B. So here's a rectangle. The area of this would definitely be base times height, or B times H. But I could uh, maybe draw a line from one corner to the other, and what I would get is a couple of triangles, right? And so each of these triangles would have an area of one half base times height. Right. Now I realize this triangle up here looks a little bit different, but I could do a, a similar but slightly more complicated, complicated argument to prove to you that any triangle um, should have this area formula based on what we know about rectangles. But at any rate, this is our formula, and so uh, we'll apply this to this following example. So it says find the perimeter and area of the following triangle. Okay, so first of all, perimeter. Remember perimeter, we're just simply going to add up all of those sides. So we have 18 plus 24 plus 30. And when I add up all of those sides, what I end up getting is 72 feet. All right, so there's our perimeter. Now for our area, notice our formula for area has only two different measurements in it. Okay, And so, uh, but we're given three in this triangle. So let's think about what it is that we need to pay attention to and what it is that we ignore. Well, remember, up in our picture up here, the height goes from one corner of a triangle and makes a 90 degree angle with the base. And so here's our 90 degree angle right here. That's what this little square means. So our base we could think of as 24, and this side of the triangle happens to be our height in this case. So that's going to be 18 feet. Okay. Sometimes the height is a side of a triangle, like right here where they make a 90 degree angle. Other times it won't be. So you just um, have to pay attention to whether two sides make a 90 degree angle or not. All right. So now our area is one half base. And what I'm going to do is because I'm multiplying by a half, I'm just going to make my base 24 over 1. I remember that's always okay to do with a whole number. And our height is 18 over 1. And it certainly can't hurt us to do a little bit of pre-reducing in this case. So I can say 2 divided by 2 is 1. 24 divided by 2 is 12. And so it looks like my area is going to be just the product of 12 and 18. So we'll just do that over on the side here. 18 times 12. Hmm. 
Oops, sorry about that. Looks like I zoomed in a little bit on this. We'll end up with 216. And remember, it's an area, so it's not just feet, it is square feet.